All right, welcome to this little quick video on the difference between a raster image and on a vector image. So what I wanted to do is pull up a logo that I've taken from a raster image and how I turned it into a vector image. And I'm not going to go into all the details on how it's done, but more in focus on what the difference is. So right here what we have is the Lego Space logo, and this is just a bitmap uh, raster image that I pulled off of the internet. And my brother wanted to put this logo on a shirt, but he didn't like how poor quality this was. So he gave it to me and asked me if I could make it look better. And of course on Illustrator, that's something that you can do. So let's take a look at this. This is a raster image, which means that it's made up of a bunch of pixels. If you can see that this is just made up of, up of a bunch of little squares, and it turns into this, uh, this image. Well, most images that you pull off of the internet are quite honestly really poor quality. And so if you were to take this, you can take it into Illustrator and turn it into a vector graphic, which looks more like this. Now, if you want to see the difference between that, you know, you got this uh, choppy looking pixelated image and through Illustrator and maybe an hour or two of work, if you know, if you don't, even if you don't know what you're doing exactly, it still wouldn't take quite that long. You can get this nice clean cut, nice looking image. So if you zoom up as far as you can, you can tell that uh, the there's no pixels that make it up. What it is, is just a bunch of mathematical equations that make lines. Okay. And so you can make it as small as you want, and you can make it as big as you want. Let's actually make this really big and we'll see what the what the lines look like. If you were to do this with a pixel image, you would lose a lot of quality and you would be able to start seeing each little each little pixel when you zoom up into it. So let's just take this little section right here and just keep zooming up, keep zooming up, and you notice that there's no little squares. So this is what we mean by mathematical equations. It just takes a line and it just draws a line from this point to another point, and it has some mathematical equation that I don't understand. It has to do with how how much it curves. So that's the main difference between a raster image and a vector image. Here in the back we have the raster image, which has all the little pixels, and in the front we have the vector image, which has all the lines.